What makes Pringles so different from regular chips? Their perfect stackable shape, their unmistakable crunch, or the famous can that keeps them fresh? Undeniably, Pringles have become a snack time favorite around the world. But have you ever wondered what it takes to turn ordinary potatoes into these crispy saddle-shaped snacks? Well, it's a fascinating process that we will uncover here at The Process World. Interestingly, Pringles started as a solution to the common frustrations of broken greasy chips and air-filled bags. This was back in the late 1950s, when chemist Frederick Bauer at Procter & Gamble set out to create a chip that stayed fresh, stacked perfectly, and didn't crumble easily. After years of testing, he developed the now-famous saddle shape, which made packaging and storage much easier. When Pringles hit the shelves in 1968 as Pringles' newfangled potato chips, their unique formula made with 42% potato flakes drew attention. In 1975, the FDA ruled that they couldn't be called potato chips, leading to a rebranding as potato crisps, which sparked some confusion in other countries. Despite this, Pringles became a global sensation with over 3 billion in yearly sales and many varieties to suit varied palates. But how are they made in the factory? Before we get into that, if you're enjoying this video so far, please leave a like and subscribe for more amazing videos like this one. Now, moving on. The journey of Pringles starts with carefully selected potatoes. These are not just any potatoes, they are selected for their low sugar and high starch content, which helps produce that characteristic crisp texture. Loaded onto conveyor belts, the potatoes move directly toward the washing station. Here in big tanks, the strong hydro washer whirls them around, eliminating dirt and any residual waste. Then they go to the peeling stage. Here, the potatoes tumble into a big revolving drum covered in a rough sand-like paper surface rather than being hand-peeled. The skins are softly scraped away as they spin, producing clean, smooth potatoes ready for the next stage. Once they've been peeled, the potatoes quickly drop in hot water. This blanching technique locks in their natural color and flavor and helps soften them for cutting. It also prevents enzymes from altering the taste or texture in any unwelcome ways. The potatoes then go to the cutting station, where a fast-moving revolving cylinder chops them into consistent pieces. Once the potatoes are cleaned and cut, the real transformation begins. The first step is boiling. The cubes are dropped into hot water heated to 185 degrees Fahrenheit, where they stay for about two minutes. This short cooking time helps soften them without breaking them down too much. After boiling, the potatoes head into a large steam cooker. Inside, they're exposed to temperatures around 345 degrees Fahrenheit, which ensures that they're fully cooked while preserving their structure. At this stage, the potatoes aren't ready to be chips yet, but they've reached the ideal consistency for the next phase, mashing. The cooked potato cubes are then fed into an industrial drum equipped with a powerful mixing arm. As the drum rotates, the potatoes are smashed into a smooth, lump-free mixture. The goal is to create a uniform texture that's easy to work with in the later steps. Once mashed, the mixture is spread onto a rotating drum dryer. This massive machine uses heat to remove excess moisture from the mash, gradually transforming it into thin, pliable sheets. The drying process locks in the potatoes' flavor while ensuring that the final product will have the perfect crispness. After drying, the potato sheets are ready for the next stage, milling. Sharp blades shred the dried sheets into fine potato flakes, which will later be combined with other ingredients to create the unique dough that makes Pringles so recognizable. Once the dried potato sheets are processed into fine flakes, they move on to the next crucial step, turning them into dough. This is where this signature Pringle texture begins to take shape. In the large industrial mixer, the potato flakes are combined with a carefully measured blend of ingredients. Water, cornstarch, rice flour, and wheat starch are added to create a smooth and pliable mixture. Other ingredients like salt and emulsifiers help improve the texture and keep the dough stable throughout the production process. 
When fully mixed, the dough has a consistency similar to wet sand, making it easy to shape and roll. The dough is then transferred onto the conveyor belt that feeds it into an auger. This machine spreads the mixture evenly across the belt, ensuring that every portion has the same thickness and texture. Achieving this uniformity is essential because it guarantees that every chip will cook evenly and have the same satisfying crunch. After the dough is evenly distributed, it moves to the rolling stage. A massive roller applies four tons of pressure, flattening the dough into an ultra-thin sheet, just one millimeter thick. At this stage, the dough sheet is soft and flexible, allowing it to be shaped precisely in the following steps. Any excess dough from the edges is removed and sent back to the beginning of the process, where it's recycled into new batches. This recycling system helps minimize waste and helps keep production efficient without compromising quality. Once the dough is rolled into a thin sheet, it's time to shape it into the familiar Pringles form. Carefully arranged on molds that guide them into a concave form, the dough pieces create their distinctive curved design. This specific form, sometimes referred to as hyperbolic paraboloid, allows the chips to stack exactly without breaking, therefore facilitating storage and transportation. Now it's time for frying. The molded chips enter into a fryer filled with hot oil heated to 392 degrees Fahrenheit. They stay in the oil for about 11 seconds, just enough to achieve the crispy texture and golden color. This step is crucial because it removes any remaining moisture, ensuring that the chips stay fresh for a long time. Once fried to perfection, the chips move through a drying tunnel, where a steam of hot air blows away any excess oil. This step helps cool them down to an ideal temperature before they are seasoned and packed. At this stage, the chips have their shape and crisp texture, setting the stage for the next step, adding flavor. Every chip tastes precisely the same, regardless of where it's sold, thanks to careful design of the seasoning process. The chips pass under a seasoning applicator along on the conveyor belt, which generates a thin mist of flavored powder. On one side alone, seasoning of the chips helps preserve their unique taste balance. Later on, the seasoning organically distributes across every layer when the chips are piled, therefore improving the taste sensation. From the traditional original to robust choices like sour cream and onion, barbecue and cheddar cheese, Pringles come in a great range of tastes. Carefully proportioned to fit the precise formula, each flavor is produced using a combination of spices, salt, and other ingredients. Advanced sensors tracking the powder distribution help ensure consistency in the seasoning application. This guarantees that every batch satisfies the high criteria demanded by Pringles consumers all around. To meet demand, the facility runs several production lines using thousands of pounds of season every day. Whether it's the rich taste of loaded baked potatoes or the sour kick of salt and vinegar, every chip gets the exact quantity of seasoning required to provide the same pleasing taste every time. Following seasonings, the chips are kept down the line for the last quality check where inspectors search for any flaws. The process begins as perfectly stacked, freshly seasoned chips slide down the conveyor belt. Special vibrating belts enable their separation, therefore avoiding any from binding together. They pass through an innovative inspection system with high-speed cameras as they keep down the line. These cameras search for any flaws, including broken, misshaped, or improperly seasoned chips. Any chip that falls short of the needed criteria is taken off the manufacturing line right away. Apart from the automated checks, maintenance of quality depends much on the efforts of industrial workers. Emphasizing texture, seasoning distribution, and general appearance, they personally search for anything the machines might overlook. Little flaws can cause a batch to be thrown away to preserve the consistency that Pringles is renowned for. Additionally, included in the procedure is taste testing. Under red illumination, a committed group of flavor experts does blind tasting tests aimed at removing visual prejudice. After the chips pass all of these inspections, they're ready to move to the next step, getting packed into their famous cylindrical canisters.
thanks to their unusual form, the chips migrate along the manufacturing line in precisely aligned stacks. They are gently channeled into preformed canisters as they descend down the conveyor belt. Every stack is measured by an automated mechanism to guarantee the precise chip count into every container. Whether it's the little personal-sized can or a bigger one suited for sharing, its accuracy guarantees consistency. Once loaded, the canisters go into the sealing station. Applying a foil freshness seal on the top locks in the crispness and keeps the moisture from degrading the chips. The seal is then heat pressed to provide an airtight barrier maintaining the chips crunchiness from the production to the retail shelves. Each can has a plastic cap added after sealing to let customers easily reseal their Pringles upon opening. Conversely, a strong metal bottom is fastened to finish the package. The canisters undergo another round of checks to look for correct sealing, weight correctness, and labeling before leaving the facility. Each can is made to be light, yet robust enough to manage transit without compromising the sensitive chips within. Packing the canisters in the boxes comes last. These boxes are then stacked and put onto trucks, ready for distribution to stores around the world. Over 140 countries sell Pringles, and varieties are tailored to fit various local tastes. So now you know how Pringles go from potatoes to perfectly stacked crisps inside their iconic can. Now to you, could this be the most scientifically designed snack ever? And well, what's your favorite flavor? Comment down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos like this one. See you in the next video.